Now let's take a look at how a centrifugal pump develops head and flow at various speeds. As we described earlier, the pump manufacturer will provide a performance curve for a centrifugal pump, but these are typically shown only for the design speed and when using fresh water. In reality, centrifugal pumps found on crude oil tankers work at variable speeds and they are designed to operate with different types of crude under a variety of pumping conditions. Centrifugal cargo pumps can typically operate at a rotational speed of between 6 and 1200 revolutions per minute. So, how can we use the design head and flow rate to work out the flow rate and head at any particular rotational speed? We can do this by using the pump affinity laws. These explain how flow rate, head and power consumption are affected by changes in rotational speed. One of these laws states that flow, Q, is directly proportional to the pump rotational speed, N, and another states that head, H, is directly proportional to the square of the pump rotational speed. This means that for a particular pump, the ratio between two volumetric flow rates, Q1 and Q2, is equal to the ratio of their respective rotational speeds, N1 and N2. Similarly, the ratio between any two values of head developed, H1 and H2, is equal to the ratio of their respective rotational speeds, M1 and N2, squared. We will know the design speed, flow rate and head for our pump. Let us assume in this case it is 1100 revolutions per minute with design flow rate of 5500 meters cubed per hour and head of 155 meters. Knowing this, our expressions can be written like this, where Q and H are the flow rate and head for equivalent points on a performance curve for any pump speed N. Rearranging these expressions, we get the following. If we now calculate the flow rate using these expressions for a rotational speed of 800 revolutions per minute, this gives us a flow rate, Q, of 4000 meters cubed per hour, and a head, H, of 82 meters.